the assassination attempt. Uh, Nancy Pelosi's husband was attacked, violently assaulted in his home, in their home, with a hammer. Of course, the person who attacked him is a uh, Republican terrorist, domestic terrorist. Uh, some people say there he's an extremist. I say he is just an average Republican who believes and regurgitates all the same propaganda that all Republicans do. Uh, you know, spreading the QAnon stuff. Uh, Republican politicians have put a target on Nancy Pelosi for years, so it's not surprising that one of their members of their base followed their orders. And of course, you see right wing people kind of celebrating the fact that he was attacked, uh, kind of blaming them, victim blaming in a lot of ways, you know, because they they have this idea that blue states and 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 Democrats are very soft on crime. Meanwhile, crime rates in red states are the highest crime rates in red cities are the highest. Like there's no actual proof of that, but uh, they you know, it doesn't matter. Truth does not matter for these people, right? They say whatever they want to say that suits their narrative. It doesn't have to be true, right? They can, they can believe that, that vaccines don't work and masks don't work and nobody actually died from COVID and, and you know, Trump was, is still president and JFK is going to come back from the dead to run. I don't know. Like, they just believe in whatever they want to believe in because truth means nothing to them. And uh, it's not surprising. Now, do I like Nancy Pelosi? No, I'm not a fan. I know she's, you know, one of the top politicians in the, the Democratic Party. Uh, but, you know, I don't like that she profits off of insider trading. I don't like the fact that her husband invests in companies that our government, uh, you know, kind of gives him the heads up on. You know, they've made a lot of money uh, in ways that should be illegal. It should be very illegal for for uh, sitting politicians to elected politicians to profit off of uh, their insider knowledge of what laws are going to be passed and what things are going to go through. And uh, I think that's disgusting. I don't, I, you know, but I'm not like a cheerleader, despite the fact that I'm very left leaning. I'm a progressive. I am a socialist in a lot of instances uh i'm not a blind cheerleader like it's definitely there's some democrats that are no different than the trump fans that fly flags like there are definitely cheerleaders on the left uh, but there's definitely far more of that cheerleading going on the right where they will blindly worship whoever is in charge on their side uh regardless it does not matter um but yeah like if this happened to like Marjorie Taylor Greene's husband and somebody broke in and tried to kill him with a hammer, like Marjorie Taylor Greene would blame this on Pelosi as she does. She's called for the assassination of Pelosi on multiple time, multiple videos that she's later pulled down from her website or from her social media. Like Pelosi is the aside from like Hunter Biden's laptop, like the there's a few targets that individuals have on their backs because of conservative politicians. And if this happened to a uh, conservative, th things would be insane. They would be calling for the executions of, uh, not, not like they're not already, but calling for the executions of so many like liberal politicians. Like, oh, like if, if somebody from Antifa killed a nazi right who just happened to killed like genie like uh genie thomas right killed justin tom thomas's uh wife that's a wackadoo right super right wing involved in january 6th like if, if she was attacked by an antifa guy right which is very like four percent of left left extremists do things where like 90% of right-wing people are, are responsible for a lot of damage and crime. Like, if that happened, it would be insane. It would be insane. Like, there was more attention paid 
when a gunman reported himself for being near Ka- Kavanaugh's house, right? They got round the clock protection just for a guy being near his house and calling the police on himself, right? So, didn't do anything, did absolutely nothing. And it was a night and day response compared to what's happening with Nancy Pelosi's husband. And you have people like the owner of Twitter pushing just fabricated bullshit. Just as all right wingers do, they they it takes them like a day, usually takes them a day or two to figure out what propaganda spin they're going to push forward. And the one that they're pushing forward is laughably ridiculous. But that just means it's going to be successful because most of them are. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. He seemed like he's doing f- I don't know. He's recovering. I don't know what the extent of his damage was. Um, and they caught the guy, and he's, of course, right wing in every way. He is the model. He is the model Republican, right? The party that literally celebrated a child who murdered multiple protesters. Right. They celebrated Kyle Rettenhouse for murdering protesters. Right. This is they love this. They love when their base follows their orders. Right. Because they can't do it themselves. Right. It has to be like they have to they have to enrage their their base and then they have to pray and hope that they actually act on what they want to happen. Right. And usually they fail. Right. This guy failed at his assassination attempt. Uh, they all failed at trying to overthrow the government. Like they're very horrible at succeeding in anything. Um, but if enough of them keep trying, it's eventually going to happen. You know, new episodes of the Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com/slash/plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com and follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.